Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet, weaving, all of the fibre related things. Um, today's video we are here on location. <laughs> Sounds very grand doesn't it? <laughs> very fancy but if you've been here for any length of time you'll know there's nothing fancy going on. <laughs> here at Yarn and Yarns. If you catch a glimpse of even a slight bit of fancy, it's all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Don't believe it. <laughs> anyway, welcome today to one of my series of vlogs where I am chatting about one of my 12 cast on projects. So if you are new here, I have started over the last few years a little make along for myself and the yarn and yarns community have been joining in over the last couple of years too where at the end of each year and the beginning of the next year if that makes any sense so between christmas and new year i spend 12 consecutive days casting on 12 new projects to take with me through the rest of the year or years <laughs> depending on how quickly i get things done i have a little playlist of all of my 12 cast on videos so if you do happen to be new here and you want to go and check out what the 12 cast ons is all about i will link the playlist either up above or down below somewhere today's video is going to be following my progress on cast on number five for this year and I'm not sure how this one is going to go because it's basically a vanilla sock. <laughs> so I'm not sure how interesting I can make a vlog about a vanilla sock. But there's a little hint there as to why I'm out and about today because I thought I would try <laughs> and make things a little bit more interesting by maybe doing a little montage or a little selection of places where you can knit a sock. <laughs> because with the best will in the world, although this yarn is absolutely beautiful, I should probably talk about my project before I launch into this explanation, but um, although my yarn is absolutely beautiful, there's you know limited things I can say about knitting a vanilla sock, um, even for the non-sock knitters out there who may find it somewhat interesting. Um, I'm just going to be showing you, oh hey look, I've knit a leg and now I've added the heel and now I've added a toe and I'm not quite sure how interesting that would be and even if you're not a sock knitter then I'm sure you will have a good grasp of what a plain sock is. When I say vanilla I mean just a plain knit sock. No patterning, nothing fancy, just a sock which shows off the yarn that you're using. Uh, so yes, to try and jazz things up a bit for this vlog I thought it might be fun just to try and film a few bits of out and abouts and just weird places where you can knit <laughs> so I don't know how this is gonna go obviously this is the beginning for me we shall see <laughs> now of course for a vlog where I am trying to show you some places in my local area <laughs> where you can knit um, I had to do come to the beach now if you've been here for a while you will have been here with me many times before because I often come here to sit and knit and just enjoy the fresh air and I'm very lucky to live somewhere where I can walk to a beach like this within 10 minutes of my home. So we're going to sit and knit at the beach for a little while but before I do that I have to confess that I have already failed somewhat in sharing my progress on this sock um, because I actually took it out at the weekend <laughs> and added some rows to it and I hadn't really filmed the introduction for this video. Now it's March as I'm filming this, I'm not sure when this video will go up on the channel, but I cast on a lovely sock using some Patton Scroy yarn that was a kind, kind gift from the fabulous Tammy, who is yarning at the homestead, uh, Gracie's goodies. I'll put some links to Tammy's channel, YouTube channel and her Instagram down below. And Tammy kindly gifted me two balls of this glorious, um, pattern square yarn the colorway name of which is escaping me it's something to do with sierra i think i have the other ball in my knitting bag which i am furiously trying to get into i'm failing <laughs> um what is this called uh, burnished sierra stripes is the colorway and tammy gifted me two gorgeous balls of this yarn and i cast on as i mentioned it's march as i'm recording this apologies for the wind noise the beginning of this video is already a mess <laughs> Um, and I'm currently using my dice game as a way to help me choose my knitting projects for the month and one of the dice rolls that came up this month was mood which was just to knit a project that I fancied picking up 
and I didn't for the life of me think that a sock was going to be it because I very much lost my sock knitting mojo at the beginning of this year. However, on Saturday, I went out for a knit and natter date um, with my lovely friend Sal. Hi Sal, if you're watching. And on the way out the door, I was like, what am I going to knit? Because I'm in the middle of a huge test knit at the moment, a, a test knit sweater, which has four balls of yarn attached to it. And I'm like, I can't go to a cafe with such a big project. And the other projects that the dice chose for me this month, uh, colour work socks and spinning and my crochet all of which are either not portable or need me to concentrate in some way or another, not really conducive to sitting and knitting and chatting. So I decided my me project would have to be my vanilla sock. <laughs> and that's what's prompted me to, to pick that up. So when you last saw it, it was down here where the marker was. So over the last few days, I have knit up this sock quite some way. Now, in order to not interrupt the sort of stripe, the patterning of this sock, I was planning to put in an afterthought heel and when I say afterthought usually what I mean is really forethought because I tend to put in a bit of waist yarn um, which I then undo and go back and add in a sort of short row type heel however I finished the leg while I was out chatting to Sal and we were still chatting and I didn't want to stop knitting so I decided just to carry on and I'm going to be doing a proper afterthought heel while I where I cut into my knitting at some point in the future I'll put in a photo I've got a photo of our table full of tea cake and knitting so that's the only glimpse that you're going to get in <laughs> into the first bit of progress on this sock so I'll pop that in here and then I'm going to stop waffling and start doing a little bit of knitting for the first little section in places where you can knit a vanilla sock <laughs>
We're being treated to some glorious weather here. <sighs> Look at that blue sky. So I've decided to knit on my sock outside for a little bit. And I've reached the toe and I just remembered just in time that I had a plan to switch in this super bright orange mini, which was a lovely gift from Anne, um, who has the No Excuses Knitting podcast and his spa knits on Instagram. So I've just joined in the yarn and I've started my toe decrease so this should be finished today which is great and then I can move on to second sock. I'm going to wait until I've finished both tubes before I cut in the heels just to make sure I get them in exactly the same place. Orange and blue, perfect combination. <laughs> I finished the toe on my sock yesterday um, so we have that lovely spell of knitting out in the sunshine in the garden. I'm heading out into Cardiff today, it's Monday, I'm heading out into Cardiff to meet my lovely friend Lisa for tea, maybe some lunch, not sure yet. I need some knitting to take with me of course um, so it's time to wind up the second ball. I've only got a little bit left of the first 50 gram ball so I'm going to save that for putting in my heel and I'm going to wind this up for my second sock. It's really fun actually this journey, it's forced me to get out and about and do some things so um, for the first sock what did we do? We went to the beach, we went to a castle, we were knitting on the train, knitting on the sofa, knitting in the garden um, so I wonder what adventures the second sock will bring. <laughs> First, yarn winding. So I've got a second before I have to head out for my train. So I thought I'd cast on before I get on the train. <laughs> but already this project is, sock number two is giving me a little bit of grief because I've wound up the yarn and I've realised that the striping sequence goes in the opposite direction to what was in the first ball. And I like to try and make my socks somewhat matching. That's just, I know it's never gonna be perfect, but so I'm now gonna have to work this from the center, which I hate, hate working from center pool balls. <laughs> and also to get my starting point the same, I've had to wind off quite a big chunk of yarn. So, um, I mean, I'm gonna have leftovers from this anyway, so it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but the worst thing in the world is knowing that I'm gonna be working from a center pool. <laughs> I could rewind the yarn at some point, but I haven't got time to do that right now. <laughs> Let's just get on with it.
it's been a while since I checked in for this vlog. It's middle of May here and it is a miserable day. <laughs> I'll turn you around and show you in a minute. But you might be able to hear the rain in the background. I was at the house early this morning because I had an early dentist appointment. Never ceases to amaze me. My appointment was at 8.45, so I must have been one of the first of the day and I didn't get seen till 9.30. <laughs> Luckily I had my knitting and my book in my bag. I always leave the house prepared. Yeah, I decided after that to grab myself some orange juice and a banana and I've come down to the front and I found a bit of shelter on the pier to enjoy my breakfast. And I've got my knitting. My project bag is so soggy, look at that. <laughs> it's just so wet today. I thought I'd add a few more rows to my sock. This sock isn't on my list of things to work on this month, but I always have it in my bag for some easy knitting if I'm out and about. Let me show you what's going on here today. <laughs> A while since I checked in with this project and we are rapidly approaching the end of August at the moment and this was one of the projects that my dice rolls picked for me to work on and I've been a bit rubbish at recording my progress this month uh, mostly because we've had friends staying with us and this was a good project to work on while we were sat chat chatting but I have pretty much finished both of the tubes now i've just got to graft the end of the toe together and then the last little bit of this is going to be to um, pick up my stitches cut into this and add my heel so i really want to get that done over the next couple of evenings so i've come outside it's the end of my working day now and i'm going to graft this toe together and try and cut in for at least one of the heels so let's see if we can get this project finally done <laughs>
I'm fairly sure that in other videos I've shared this process, particularly when I was making a lot of socks last year for Socks for West Midlands Ambulance, but um, I finished my grafting of the toe. So I'm going in and I'm going to pick up um, half of my stitch count. This will become the back of my sock. And I have a recipe that I usually stick to, um, which is um, about 15 rows of some kind of ribbing and then 50 rows on a leg. So that helps me to decide where my heel is going to go and then I have a certain number of rounds that I tend to knit for my foot. So yeah, I'm just going in and picking up. Um, it's a bit tricky to do this because I'm holding the camera with one hand, but you can see the stitches um, that are a V shape and I'm picking up one leg of each V with my needle. Very awkwardly because I can't stabilise my fabric. <laughs> and then once I've done it, I'm going to miss one row and then I'm going to do the same for another row. So for this particular section, it's worked out quite well because I've got three orange rows here and then one brown. So I'm going to pick up the third of these orange rows and then I'm going to snip a stitch in the middle. Then I'll be able to knit in my heel. Okay, so I've got 32 stitches on each side and I've pulled my needles right through so that the stitches are on a cable, which means I can put my hand inside the sock and just help myself by sort of stretching out this fabric a little bit. And then I can get a nice pair of small sharp scissors and grab a leg of a stitch. Just give it a little bit of a snip and I've worked a little hole in my knitting and I'm going to start to unravel my yarn. So I've got my gaping hole in my sock <laughs> and I've just knit one round with some spare yarn that was left over from my socks. I've got a few little balls like this and I'm just going to do some sort of um, short row type heel. Um, in this case I do what is pretty much just a, another wedge toe. Over the last couple of evenings I've managed to almost finished my sock, plural. <laughs> I've done one heel and I've got about three rows left of the second heel and I thought wouldn't it be fitting to come and finish those socks on the beach because that's where we started this vlog and like the literally the minute I step out of my house with my bag of knitting it starts to rain. You can probably see it all on my glasses. Still I want to get this sock finished so my plan is just to walk for a little bit. I hope the rain stops and if it doesn't, I'm just going to sit on the beach in the rain and finish my three rows of socks because I'm a loon and I want them done. <laughs> it's the end of August and look, it's starting to look so autumnal here already. Send help, I can't see. <laughs> so I've been out walking for 40 minutes. I'm absolutely soaked through and it's still raining. The sea's out there behind me, if you can tell at all. Sea, sky, just about maybe. <laughs> You'd have thought after living in Wales for seven years, I would know by now never to be leave home without a brolly. <laughs> it's now stopped raining and it's as humid as you like. And the sun's trying to come out up there. Oh, I'm sweltering now. <laughs> Can't win. This is not the end to this vlog that I had envisioned. But it's the end we're getting. <laughs> Made it to the beach. Yes, I am super soggy around the edges. I look like I've been running a marathon and sweating away instead of just ambling and getting wet. <laughs> I didn't have the top of my jacket done up properly, but it has stopped raining briefly. It's very moist in the air still, but I'm braving it in my t-shirt, trying to dry out a bit and I'm gonna get this sock done. So let me try and find somewhere to prop this camera up. Not the most fabulous of angles, but it is what we've got. And so um, yesterday evening, I managed to finish the first sock. Heel is in and I've almost done the second. As I say, I've got about three rows left to knit in this heel. So yeah, I'm going to sit and get that done now. <laughs> before the rain came 
comes again. <laughs> I know, I'm ridiculous. You can say it. I say it about myself all the time. God, that's it done all bar a couple of ends to sew in socks have been what eight months <laughs> in the making and this is only my second project from my 12 cast ons this year that i've actually managed to finish so for those of you who have been commenting or sending me messages to say that you feel really behind with your 12 cast on projects hey i'm right there with you <laughs> i really need to pick up my game for the second half not even the second half for the last quarter <laughs> of this year if I'm going to finish 10 projects it's highly unlikely but hey the fun's in the journey right <laughs> it doesn't matter how long it takes to get there so I'm just going to quickly weave these few ends in and then I think all that remains for me to share with you is a happy beat dance <laughs> So there we go, my second project for the 12 cast-ons of 2022 is finally finished. It's only the end of August, it'll be fine. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. I know I've milked it a little bit, it's quite a long one considering I've just been knitting a vanilla sock, but I hope you have enjoyed coming on some little adventures with me, taking a little peek at some places where we can knit a sock. And of course, we've come full circle. The vlog was started at the beach and we're now ending it at the beach too. I want to say a huge thank you once again to the lovely Tammy of the Yarning at the Homestead podcast for sending me the pattern scroll yarn, which I was gonna show these socks off again, but they're inside out now because I've just taken them off. Yay for professional podcasting, well done Ange. <laughs> let's just rectify that it's got a bit of a sandy bottom but it's fine because they will be going in the wash when i get home <laughs> uh, i lost my balance at the end of my dance sand on the bottom of my sock uh, so yes thank you so much to tammy oh my goodness no wonder my vlogs are so long <laughs> tangent city so these are the burnished sienna sierra sierra burnished sierra stripe um, colourway from Patterns Croy and I absolutely adore knitting with Patterns Croy yarn and it's just so hard to get hold of here in the UK so I appreciate um, you Tammy for sending this to me it was such a kind surprise gift and I have adored every minute of knitting this sock and also thank you of course to the lovely Anne of the No Excuses Knitting Podcast and I'll link both of those channels below here um, who provided the super bright orange mini that I added into the toe of this sock. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video and hopefully there'll be a couple more of these vlogs <laughs> as we round out 2022. I'd hoped there'd be a few more <laughs> on the channel um, by this point in the year, but it is what it is. I'm going to, of course, sign off for today. So thank you so much for being here, for watching, for liking the videos, for subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have enjoyed the content and you want to support the videos that I make here. There is a link to my coffee page below so you can send a one-off donation. And also if you'd like to become a regular supporter of the channel, there's a Patreon page as well. I upload extra content over on Patreon. Um, I also am now trying to post early access to the videos before they go up on YouTube 
um, and yeah I'm sure there'll be more stuff to come over on Patreon as the community over there grows. I'm going to sign off for this one I'll be back again soon with some more making content so until we get to spend time together again I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy maybe a little bit of sock knitting somewhere out in the wild <laughs> but until next time great big willy hugs to you all bye for now bye